Hello friends, welcome back to the Marathon Calculations on Cook's Law. This is a 12-video series on these calculations. You will also click in the description box below to find a video link for the first series of the calculations, the second series, and this is the third series. Don't miss out any of the series. So let's go straight to the point. A piece of rubber band, 100 cm long stretches. Uh, 6 millimeters when a load of 100 meters is cut for it. What is the strength? Good. So let's collect our data. This is a piece of the rubber we are talking about. It is MCM. That is the original length L notch. So we write that our L knot is given to be 1. 10 cm and don't forget that we are always converting cm to meters so this is the same thing as 0 0.1 meters let me verify that uh, 10 by 10 by 100 yep i'm correct and so the extension the rubber length extended by this so the extension e is given to be 6 millimeters but we're going to convert these millimeters to meters. So we write that this is a 6 divided by 1000. And that is the same thing as a 6 by 1000. It give us, uh, give us 0 0.006 meters. So the force F is given to be, to be 100 meters. But what is the strain? From the Young's modulus, you have stress all over strain. Where your stress is equal to force over area, and then your strain is equal to what? Extension all over the original length. Am I correct? I am supposed to be correct. So we're gonna substitute by saying. Uh, 0 0.006 divided by 0 So we have our 0 0.006 divided by 0 0.1 and that is the same thing as a 0 0.06 I told you our uh, strain has no SI units This is meters and this is also meters This comes with this So therefore our strain, which is the ratio of the extension of the original length, is 0 0.06. So, in this, this is the correct answer. But if you put meters, designers will mark with that because strain is a dimensionless quantity, as simple as A, B, C. Look at question number six. Question number six reads: A load of this, a load of 20, 20 newton on a wire of cross-sectional area this eight times ten to the power negative seven meters square produces an extension of ten meters. Calculate the Young's modulus for the material of the wire if its length is this. Good. So we write that. For question number six, we have a we have a force given to be twenty meters. Uh, the wire of cross-sectional area. 
area is uh, the area x exponential negative seven meters square. But this is an extension e to be equal to ten meters. And uh, the Young's modulus uh, is not given. Uh, if the wire, the length of the wire, original length of the wire is given to be is given to be three meters. So the next thing is correct equation. So from the Young's modulus, y is equal to uh, stress all over strain. Uh, this is seen as a force divided by area divided by extension all over original length. So the Young's modulus is given to be force all over area uh, times L all over E. At this point, we substitute. We have our 20 uh, Newton divided by 8 exponential negative 7 meters squared times length times 3 meters all over uh, all over 10 meters. Meter number of meters. And so our uh, Young's modulus is given to be is given to be 20. Uh, we have uh, we have 20 newton times 3 divided by 8 uh, exponential negative 7 meters square times 10. Uh, that will give us uh, 20. We will have 60. 60 divided by 8 exponential negative, negative 7 times 10. That will give us 8 exponential negative 6 uh, Newton meter squared. So we write that as 60 divided by this. So we have 7, 5, 0. 7, 5, 0. 7, 5, 0, 0, 0, 0. Newton, which really reciprocate is of per meter square. So therefore, the Young's modulus of the wire is this. We write therefore the Young's modulus of the wire is a seven comma five comma five zero comma zero 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 meter a meter square. That is the answer. As simple as A B C. Don't forget to subscribe to Physics with Ben and promote Physics with Ben in your own little way and God will bless you. Let's uh, look at the next question, question number 7. Question number 7. If the stress on the wire is 10 to the power 7, if the stress on the wire is 10 to the power 7 meter per meter square and the wire is stretched from its original length of this to this, the Young's modulus of the wire is that. Now, because I already solved this particular question, I just replay the video, uh, the replay, uh, back play the, the solution to question number 6 and then you will replicate that and uh, calculate. In a physical class, at this point, I will call my students for what I call class activity. So right now, if you are watching me, this is your class activity. Uh, pause, solve, and if you don't get it right, go back to question number six, and you will get uh, the solution to this question. I would love to see your answers in the description box. Sorry. I would love to see your answers in the comment box and let's share your views on this particular question. To this we have come to the end of this particular uh, video series. Watch out uh, for the fourth series of this calculation.
Don't forget to watch all of them. God bless you. Bye-bye.